back to Everything's Plastic. Today we have another action figure review. And this is the Marvel Legends Thor Love and Thunder Gore. Or commonly known in the comic books as Gore the God Butcher. Very cool background in comics. Very excited to see what kind of spin the MCU puts on it. Uh, sometimes they stay true to the comic books. Other times they stray pretty far away. But either way, still a cool character. And very excited to see where they take it. Especially that Christian Bale is playing it, man. And you can see the face sculpt off the bat there. It does actually look like Christian Bale. Cool picture of Gore on the side. Same artwork on the other side. There's a little read up on the back that says, Wielding a strange and terrifying weapon, Gore will let nothing stand in his way. On the bottom here, if you're unfamiliar with the wave, first on the list there is Thor. And this is the fully armored Thor. Mighty Thor, Gore, King Valkyrie, Ravager Thor, Star Lord, and Groot. One more look at the artwork on the back here. Man, I love the design. It strays pretty far from his parents in the comic books, but I think it actually looks pretty awesome. I'm very excited to see Christian Bale play his character. Let's crack this guy open and get a closer look. So Korg comes with the right leg for Korg Build-A-Figure. Pretty cool. He only comes with one accessory, and this is All Black the Necro Sword. Pretty cool looking sword. Love the design of it. No extra hands or anything like that. Just the sword and the build figure piece. So let's get a closer look at this figure overall. Amazing detail on the head sculpt. You can see almost like the veins going through on the side of his face there. Coming down through his neck. Cool detail on the back of his neck as well. And more veins and everything here. And I guess this is scars, I'm not really sure. But you can see all the detail and everything on top of his head. Amazing detail on the face. Those eyes look pretty cool, man. Overall, awesome head scope. So there's one thing that really bothers me so far is the cape. <laughs> it's just very loose. It's not, doesn't really fit to his body. There's no hole, so you can pour it in on the back or anything like that. It just kind of flops around a bit. The cape does look pretty cool, though. You can see, like, the tears and everything on the bottom. And I guess that's dirt on the bottom as well. Nice layering and texturing on the back. Soft plastic. You can see he's got black fingertips, black nails. The same design as on his head goes right down to his arms as well. Get a closer look at the back. See all the detail, it almost looks like dirt and everything else into his belt. I'm guessing that's what it is. Uh, you can see more dirt on the bottom. Bare foot. Some ugly ass legs though. I don't know what it is, man. It just doesn't fit the character at all. Pretty bulky legs in this one. And as you can see there too, he has pinless joints and pinless joints for the elbows. Pretty cool figure overall. Well, I got his cape off, I'm going to go over articulation pretty quick. So his head goes back this far, down this far. There is a side to side, and you got your full rotation there as well. His arms go up this far, go all the way around. You got your bicep swivel. Like I mentioned before, you got your double jointed pinless elbows. Let's see if we can get those loosened up a bit. There you go. Good range of motion there. For his wrists, one goes up and down and all the way around, and the other one is back and forth. So one open hand and one gripping hand for his sword. You can't see under the belt, but you do have your diaphragm swivel as well. And that goes down this far, back this far. You got some side to side, a little rotation. There is no rotation at the waist. But his legs go out this far, upper thigh cut. His legs go forward this far, restricted by his rope. And goes back this far, which is not too bad. So it's not as restricted going back. But these have limited range of motion going back anyways. Most of the time. You have your double jointed pinless knees as well. No boot cut or anything like that. Obviously because he's not wearing boots. But <laughs> I just noticed right here you get a full rotation right here. And you get a full rotation with the foot as well. Let's pop that loose cape back on. The cape obviously adds so much more to the character. Alright, so let's pop that sword in his hand. There we go. It's pretty cool. It holds on to it pretty good. Fits in nice and easy. Nice soft plastic on his hands, but it does the job. It actually holds the sword in nice. 
nice and snug. Once it's in, it's not going anywhere. So here he is with a sword in his hand. Looks pretty cool, man. From the side, back, and the other side. I'm sure you can get him in some better poses. But he is going to be somewhat limited. So overall, man, I think this one looks great. I think they did an awesome job on this one. Articulation is somewhat limited. He doesn't get a full range of motion like most Marvel Legends. Obviously, most Marvel Legends wearing a robe or anything like that is going to be somewhat restricted anyways. But the overall appearance of the figure is pretty cool. So let's do a comparison to some other figures in the wave. Here we are next to Groot. Did a review on that one if you guys want to take a look. Here's another side-by-side -side comparison to the fully armored Thor. And let's do one more final comparison to Rapture Thor. So overall, he's a little bit taller than Groot. He's definitely on a smaller side compared to Thor in this wave. So that pretty much wraps up our unboxing and review. Overall, I'm going to give this guy a 8.5 out of 10. He does have limited articulation. He doesn't come with accessories. But other than that, the figure is absolutely amazing. It looks great. I don't like how the cape hangs really loose. I would prefer if the cape was all one part or kind of mold it into the figure or at least have a little hole in the back so you can pour it in to keep it a bit more stable. When you try to pose this guy now, his cape just kind of flops around and uh, makes it a little bit awkward to handle. But other than that, overall, man, this, this figure looks amazing. Amazing face sculpt, amazing sculpt on his robe and his cape and everything else. Amazing detail on the face sculpt as well. It actually looks like Christian Bale. To me, it does anyway. You got to get it in the right angle, the right light. Let's do a comparison to the side of the box. I think they did a pretty good job. Not exactly like the box. Not exactly like Christian Bale, but pretty close. So as always, guys, if you like our review, don't forget to click on that like button. If you like our content and you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. We greatly appreciate it if you did to help the channel out. And we're trying to get to a goal of 400 subscribers. And leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of this figure. Let me know what you think of the line. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are excited as I am to finally see this movie. I think it's going to be great. I can't wait. As always, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Keep collecting and stay safe.